Cyberpunk und Sensor. Hey, what's up everybody? This video is all about weapon quality. In Cyberpunk Red, they take into account weapon quality and it kind of determines uh, some little details on how your weapon works and costs. So let's get right into it. In the book, Cyberpunk Red, there is this chart they provide and it breaks, it breaks down the three categories of weapon quality. There's either standard, which are, you know, you're going to pay the normal prices that you see in the book listed um, or poor quality, in which case you might pay a little less or excellent quality where you're going to pay more. Now you'll see that those are categorized, you know, if you look like standard quality, right? If it's 50, it's costly, 100, it's premium, 500 is considered expensive. Uh, those categories, I go into detail on how that works and pricing in the crash course about night markets. So to learn more about those price categories and kind of, you know, where you can find the items and how that all works, look at that video. It's uh, the crash course video about night markets. Uh, but for this, I'm just going to focus on the quality, not the details of cost, you know, the, the cost details, uh, category, how they're categorized and such. Um, so yeah, Weapon quality, it's broken into three categories. Standard, which is you're going to pay the normal prices that you see in the book, or poor, where you pay a little less, or excellent, where you pay more. Now, for, for the sake of conversation, let's say you're getting a submachine gun, an SMG. That's typically a premium item, so you're going to pay like 100 euro bucks at you know a normal gun shop or local shop or through a local fixer or whatnot, wherever you, you source this. But... Um, that's that's standard pricing, just 100 euro bucks. However, if you don't have 100 euro bucks, let's say you only have 50 euro bucks, um, you can buy a poor quality uh, version of a submachine gun. Or let's say you have five times that amount, you have 500 euro bucks, in which case you want to buy an excellent submachine gun. So that's how the pricing works. Now the chart below that, you'll see where they have brand examples of that. Now again, for the sake of conversation, let's say you're getting that submachine gun, that SMG. So you would look over in the categories, poor weapon quality. Let's say you only had the 50 euro bucks and you had to buy a poor quality one, in which case you're getting a Federated Arms Tech Assault 3. Let's say you have enough, you have 100 euro bucks, so you're getting a standard version, it'd be a Militech Mini Gat, or you have 500 euro bucks and you're getting the, the excellent quality, top of the line version of, of that SMG, in which case you're getting an Arasaka Minami 10. So you see how the brand is broken down. And these are examples. You can come up with more. I'm sure, you know, there's so many different brands and versions and whatever. But these are the ones that they have in the book. This is how that chart works. So the first thing is you have your standard price. You decide what you can afford if you want to get a poor quality version of that or an excellent quality or just stick with the standard. And then you can kind of give it some brand uh, name just to give it some characteristic, in which case you look at that chart and you line up whichever uh, quality uh, you, you purchase, whether it be poor or standard or excellent and then you know what type of ranged weapon you have there and then it has all the different names so that's how that those charts work however weapon quality isn't just about price you know why would you pay why wouldn't you just always pay less you know why would you pay five times the amount for an excellent excellent quality version so it's not just about price let's get into why people might buy uh, an excellent weapon or if they can't afford poor uh, quality weapon why that's not such a, a great thing. So with a poor quality weapon, it malfunctions on a crit fail. So a crit fail when you're attacking is when you roll a one on your D10. And when you roll a one on a D10 on a crit fail on an attack or a skill check or whatever, you have to roll another one D10 and deduct that from the total on that check, which is horrible. But with a poor quality weapon on top of that, it also malfunctions. So whenever you roll a crit fail, your poor quality weapon is gonna malfunction and then you have to spend an action, your next action, to unjam it or fix that malfunction. So man, that sucks. And that's why, yeah, you might be saving money buying that poor quality weapon, but that's why it sucks uh, you know, to, to have to do that because it's gonna come with that that little issue where it's going to malfunction anytime you roll a crit fail. 
And that's on top of the, the crit fail, you know, what that is already, which is rolling another D10 to deduct from that total. So it can, it can really start becoming a hassle. But let's get into what's cool about if you, have, if you can afford an excellent quality weapon. You get a plus one to your attack. So all your attacks with that weapon, you're getting a plus one. And man, that means a lot. You know, think of how difficult it is to do an aimed shot. And if you don't know about that, again, check out the crash course video I made on aimed shots where I explain how that works. But just briefly, you know, you're going to take a negative eight when you try to do an aimed shot. And that that's a lot. A negative eight can really kind of shift the tables. You know, it can really turn the tables on you there on, on your chances of hitting that that targeted uh, item or person or whatever. Um, with an excellent quality weapon, you're getting a plus one. And then let's say you have a smart gun, you know, you pay for it to be a smart gun and you're getting that bonus. And then, you know, let's say you're a solo and you allocate you know, your, your roll ability points into also getting precision, um, where you're getting a bonus on, on targeted shots. And like, you, know, you can start stacking these things. And if you don't know how that roll ability works, check out that crash course video I made on solos. You know, I've made one for each roll ability and I break down how the, uh, roll abilities work or whatever each role and their roll ability, but check that out to learn about that. But just back to the main point, uh, excellent quality gives you a plus one to your attacks and that can be so helpful, um, just with regular attacks, but especially with aimed attacks where you really need to start stacking things in your favor to pull off aimed shots. Um, so that's why having an excellent quality weapon is good and why having a poor quality weapon is not good. Um, but you always have standard where you don't get any sort of bonus or, you know, negative mod to anything or, you know, any negatives or positives. You just pay standard to get that standard weapon and you can always do that. But ultimately, you do have those options. And I love the fact that Cyberpunk Red has that in there. It has the diversity. It has those dynamics within weapons. It's not just, you know, getting a submachine gun. This is your, you know, damage. Go at it. Like, there's details within that. You know, you're not just getting a submachine gun. You're deciding, you know, what quality submachine gun you have. And then those each come with their own little details on, on things, you know, how it's going to affect you. So those details are all in there. Check out the Cyberpunk Red Book to, to learn more about that and read more about weapon quality. Check out my other Crash Course videos to learn more about night markets and roll abilities and all the things I mentioned, aim shots, all that good stuff. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like and a share and consider subscribing to the Cyberpunk Uncensored channels on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, we're constantly kicking out live gameplay and, you know, Game Master tips and crash courses like this video and so much more. So we'd love to see you back. Take care and I'll see you next time.